Hey guys, welcome back to WebDemantis YouTube channel and you're watching JavaScript series for beginners. Well, in this video, we're going to see about anonymous function. Well, there is something called as anonymous function. Writing a function is different. Writing a function with parameters is different. But what is an anonymous function? Well, even for people who've been writing JavaScript programs and writing JavaScript you know, scripts in their websites, don't know about anonymous function. Even myself, I started like five years back with the JavaScript, and uh, it took me an nearly two and a half years in order to figure out there's something called as uh, anonymous function. Now, I'm going to show you how to write an anonymous function, but before that, let me tell you the probability of you writing anonymous functions will be very less, and I wouldn't recommend you to write an anonymous function in the first place because an anonymous function cannot be reused again. So anonymous function is nothing but writing the codes inside a function block which you might write outside of the function block just like a script which is going to be getting uh, you know executed right at the loading of your page. Let's actually see how to write an anonymous function in here. So let me delete the file, sorry, delete the function. Now writing an anonymous function starts with starting a bracket and then writing function space without writing the name of the function you again start a bracket don't have anything in it just open the curly braces now write all the functions that you want to write so console dot log this is an anonymous function Okay, so you can write as many lines as well as you want, you know, uh, even for like alert, alert from anonymous. Sorry with that, anonymous function. Now, this is called as anonymous function, but it's not finished yet. Now, this is this is the part where you call as writing the anonymous function but it has to be called so that is the part where you will invoke this anonymous function again with the bracket and then finishing it with a semicolon looks vague isn't it this is called as anonymous function which I don't think many will write I don't think many will know about it because they don't think there is an use for knowing this but at one point of time if you see something like this in some of the codes try to understand that this is called as anonymous function which will be executed when the page is loaded or else the script is loaded now this cannot be reused because you cannot call it through any names there is no function name and this will be called right at the time when your JavaScript reaches this part and it will be executed no matter what happens so let's actually run sorry well come on yeah refresh it oh my god 10 is not a function what is it I think I made some mistake in here let me see 10 is not a function why is it not getting executed there's something wrong which I might have not uh, seen it let's see space function everything looks fine let's actually close it delete this part because that might be one of the reason let's refresh it you can see that the anonymous function is getting executed this is because of the reason that none of these lines have the semicolon so you are confusing the JavaScript well congratulations we just confused the JavaScript the modern day JavaScript which can actually identify the semicolons okay now we can see that it got executed successfully so that is one of the reason why I want you all to make sure you have a semicolon in your lines every line so especially when you are writing your website and someone is using your website from an old version web browser like Internet Explorer well even the new versions of Internet Explorer there will be chances that your JavaScript will be having errors which means that none of your JavaScript actions will be performed because there is an error so keep this in mind any error in your JavaScript will 
not trigger any events in your JavaScript. So anything that you've written in the JavaScript will not be compiled unless the errors are rectified. So try to keep this in mind. Well, that's the end of this video, guys. Uh, we've just seen about anonymous functions in JavaScript. Let's see in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and also share the video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. If you have any issues or feedback, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section or you can contact me through the Facebook page, Twitter feed or Google Plus page. You can get the links for them in the description section of this video. Thank you for watching. Let's see in the next video. See you guys.